There's a saying that goes that there's a first time for everything. Hello world, this is Coco Martek, and this is my first ever unboxing video, care of the Vivo Y15. So just a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I used this money to buy this one. And this is my first time opening on and off the camera a Vivo smartphone. So I really don't know what to expect when opening this box. As I'm an avid Google fanboy, so I'm actually using the Google Pixel 3 XL. So I did a separate review for this phone. So if you're interested with that, I'll be putting the link down in the description below. For the box, we have the very usual box with the white background color. But the weird thing about the box is that the picture here is the aqua blue color variant and I bought the burgundy red and you have the Y15 here and they are featuring the 5000 milliampere here. So it says here that it has the 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. And at the sides you don't have anything here, you only have the Y15 for both sides. At the top, you don't have anything here, so it's just a mark for the Y15. So they just wrote down that there. Also, don't have anything at the bottom. You only have the sealed, so don't buy anything that it's not sealed. At the back, you have the features. So you have the 6.35 inch of full halo display. So when you're calling the display that, oh, it's the halo full view display. And they also put the 5000 milliamperes of battery and the triple camera setup with AI. At the bottom, you have the specific uh, information about the phone, like the model, contact numbers of Vivo. So anyway, let's start opening this box using my handy dandy scissors. This is going to be a very, very interesting unboxing. Since this is my first time doing this, so bear with me if you do not like how I and how I did the unboxing. Of course, I have tried watching videos of unboxing on YouTube, but oh, satisfying. That's what she said. <laughs> so let's just start by removing this plastic. Okay. So let's try opening the box. Oh, I forgot to remove this here. So let's open this. Okay, so tanggalin natin. So at the front you have the cardboard which has the... Oh, meron free case. It's a jelly case. And you have a quick start guide na kasama dun sa, nasa loob ng jelly case. And wala na naman to. So you have the smartphone here, pero mamaya muna natin buksan. So beneath the smartphone, you have a cardboard. So you have the SIM ejector tool na nakadikit. And you have a micro USB cable. So I haven't used this cable ever since. Since 2015 pa ako naka Type-C Nexus 5X yung gamit ko at that time. Advance magisep ang Google. Advance ako magisep. Anyway, this is a ilang watts to. So I'm not really sure kung ilang watts yung charger. So I'll be doing a separate video naman for the full review. So I'll be using the phone actually, so I can be impartial about the review. So we have the charger brick here and the cable here. Yeah. So this is the smartphone. This is the Vivo Y15. So paano ba to? Uh, so, tanggalin mo yung sticker here. Uh, oh, oh. There's that. It's fine. Oh. Oh. 
So parang may gradient color siya. Na red sa baba tas black sa top. Actually, kukunin ko dapat yung blue pero parang usual color na yung blue. Interested din ako matry itong Font Touch OS since ever since uh, stock Android na yung ginagamit ko. And you have the water drop notch here. And ever since kasi natry ko na yung malaking notch ng Google Pixel 3 XL. So it's going to be a very interesting experience for me for this one. Tapos Tagalog tong setup sa baba. Interesting. So click natin to. Setup. <laughs> So the next setup is yung language. So ngayon nakatagalog siya, Filipino. Susunod. So palitan natin ng English. Then region, Philippines. Next is Next is agreements and terms. So let's just agree. Then network. So pili na lang natin yung Wi-Fi. So, letigay natin yung password. Ano ba password? Lagay natin yung password. Connecting sa network. Okay, connected na. Next is Google Services. Next is the date and time. So, lagay lang natin yung date and time. Weird na hindi siya automatic. So, right now, it's 8. Hindi pala. 7.50 in the morning. So, nag-record ako ng mga video bago pumasok ng office. Since kapag natapos ka na yung video, after ng office, gabi na. So, hindi na maganda yung lighting. And right now, it's August 6. Okay, August 6. Fingerprint and face password. So, sige, try na natin yung fingerprint. Pero, bago maglagay ng fingerprint, you have to put a four-digit password. So, Meron na ang usual na password. So, pag nalagay mo na yung 4-digit pin, meron pa mga security questions. Napaka-secured naman ito. Wala akong friend. So, meron ka mga series of questions na pwede mo piliin. Like, what was the name of your favorite book when you were a child? Pwede bang math book? Nerd. So, ito na. Registering a fingerprint. So, tignan natin kung gaano kabilis ito mamaya. Register ka muna. Place your finger. Okay. Okay, place the edges of your finger. So, okay, registered successfully na. Let's see what's next, okay? So, you can also have the option to add your face. So, put your lock screen password first. Disclaimer, before using facial recognition, please keep, keep the following in mind. Your phone must be unlocked by people or objects that look similar to you. So, pwede kang malagay mukha. Pwede mo buksan ng kapatid sa ilo. Facial recognition is less secure than a fingerprint pattern, pin, or custom alphanumeric password. In areas with dim lighting, bright lighting, and backlighting, the success rate of facial recognition will be reduced. So, hindi siya ideal kapag low light, kapag gabi. To better use facial recognition, please note the following. To make sure that the clear facial image is registered, please avoid registering in low light, in strong light, or against the light. Please avoid looking up, down, or sideways when registering to ensure that your face full facial features are captured. After completing registration, you can unlock the phone via facial recognition when the screen is lit. So, meron ka mga tips and disclaimers kapag gamitin mo facial recognition. Of course, hindi siya flagship phone, so it's not going to be as secure. So, gawin na natin ito. Tatayo lang akong ganyan. Okay, so registration complete. Wake up the screen to use face unlock. Okay, to import data. Wala naman ako. Skip na natin yun. Okay, congratulations. Your phone has been set. Use now. Ah, mute. At the front, you have the 6.35 uh, inch diagonal of display. So this is an IPS display. And it's a 720 pixel display. So it's not going to be as sharp as compared to the flagship phones, of course. And let's see how the display looks like when I use the phone. So you have the water drop notch here at the top. At the right side, you have the SIM card tray. Left side, you have the volume rocker sa taas. Sa baba niya yung power button. So very confusing since sinaya ko na sa taas yung power button. And nagbe-blend yung kulay niya. So hindi siya madaling makita. So kailangan mo talagang i-feel. Sa baba, you have the speaker grill, which is 
madali ko obstruct kapag ginagamit mo yung phone like that. Pag naglalaro ka, then you have a microphone here, a headphone jack, 3.5mm headphone jack, and a USB, micro USB port. For the build quality, I think it's made from plastic. Pero mukha siyang glass. Kahit plastic siya, maganda pa rin kasi parang glass yung tignan. Parang graded yung kulay na red and black sa taas. At the back, you have the triple camera AI system. You have the fingerprint sensor here, which is very uh, nice na nasa taas kasi madaling buksan yung phone. And at the bottom, you have the Vivo logo. Although plastic yung built niya, madaling kapita na ang fingerprints. Pero if you're going to use a case, it's not going to be a very concerning issue. So this is the phone now. Uh, di ko talaga alam expect ko sa phone touch OS. Pero from the looks of it, okay naman. I'm very confused. Bada kami din. So again, I'll be doing a separate video for the full review of this phone. Ko ano mga thoughts ko about the phone. For the phone itself and the phone touch OS. So try natin open yung camera. Ay yung phone using the fingerprint. Okay, so let's try uh, kung gaano kabilis mag-open yung phone using the fingerprint. So gamitin natin yung camera ng phone. Yan. So one, two, three. Hmm. One. Oh, ang bilis niya. Impressive. Diba? Hmm. So, first impression, it's a fingerprint sensor. Niya. Amazing. Considering the price of this phone, which is, which is just 11,000 pesos or 10,999. Okay, let's check the receipt. Ko na. So, considering the price of the phone, which is just 10,999, it's a fingerprint, fingerprint sensor. Niya. So, let's try the face unlock of the phone. It's a bit Not bad. Bilis niya. One, two, three. See? Uh, the face unlock is very fast considering again for the price of 10,999 or 11,000 pesos. We're still going to check kung gaano ka bilis yung phone. So using games. And I'll also be doing a separate video for the cameras. So maganda yung camera niya kasi tatlo. Pero of course it's not about how many the cameras are in the phone. So para ma-review ko talaga yung phone, I'll be using this phone yung Vivo Y15 for a couple of days para maging impartial yung review ko. So I'll be transferring my phone, my daily driver phone of the Google Pixel 3 XL dito sa Vivo Y15. So tanggalin natin yung SIM card. Put my SIM card here. My nano SIM card. This is it, pansip. I also have here a separate uh, echo bag. Uh, binigyan ako from by Fun Mobile. So, pag bumili ka sa Fun Mobile, marami ka nang makukuha ng mga freebies. So, for this video, ibibigay ko lahat ng mga freebies sa mga magko-comment down below ng lagay nyo lang yung mga first letter ng full name. So, kunwari, sa akin is Julio Martin Hernandez. Kukomment ko is JMH. And make sure to subscribe, like, this video and if follow nyo ako sa Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So, bibigay ko lahat to sa mga mag-follow and subscribe sa akin. So, we have a wireless stereo headset from Fun Mobile. And meron ka dito. Parang nalagyan ng phones too big ng underwater. Meron kang magnetic fun function, grip and stand from Fun Mobile. Si lahat naman ta Fun Mobile. So maganda bumili sa kanila kasi maraming freebies. Eh, yeah, kung may ka mag Mobile Legends, magagamit mo to. So that's it. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified for new videos and follow my social media i'll be putting the link down in the description and para makuha niyo mga pbs na to of course uh dito i-giveaway yung phone kasi wala pa akong pera <laughs> so this is just my first I actually second review pero first review na binili ko just for the sake of reviewing a phone so in the future of course mag giveaway ako ng mga phones kapag may mga mag sponsor na sa akin so 
So that's it for my first unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for para sa para para sa full review of the Vivo Y15. This is Coco Martech, and I'll see you in the next video.